This episode is brought to you by TwoLinedMusicCutStore.com. TwoLinedMusicCutStore.com is your all access to culture. Check out cultural merchandise like leggings, hats, mini boxing gloves, and bags. Also, t shirts like hip hop, nature, rock bands, reggae, and dark fantasy. Fast shipping worldwide. That's TwoLinedMusicCutStore.com. Now, let's check out this episode. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Muscle, and this is another Two Line Music Cuts Entertainment Report podcast. And tonight, we have a really special guest in the building. Listen, you've seen this man tear down dances from in the 80s come right up to right now. You've seen him with one of the biggest songs in the 80s and the 90s called The Roughest Hat Man. You know we have in the building today? We have Japanese, a.k.a. Fire Knees, in the building today. What's going on, Big Boss? Man, as I respect every time, blessed, you know. It's a pleasure to be here, you know, mm-hmm. talking to a man like you, you see me? It's yeah, a pleasure man. to have somebody like you in the studio today to be talking with. Give thanks, man. Give you know what I mean? Yeah, big man, up yeah. yourself 100%, big yeah, boss. Man, man has a respect. And that's the thing that yeah. lifetime, you know? You know what I mean? Yeah. On this program here, we like to take it right from the beginning and yeah. then bring it up right to now, 2021. So my first question for you is this. Where did you grow up in Jamaica and what type of child were you? Well, me grew up in a pain avenue, you know, Kingston 11, you see me, I say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's how me grew up, and grew up with mother and father. Mm-hmm. But mother and father wasn't being together, but mother and father lived there the same era. <laughs> you see me? So, me as a youth now, we, we never grew up as a trouble child. Mm-hmm. We grew up as a youth where we would protect ourselves, but at the same time, we are humble. Mm-hmm. You know, we're humble. We're not trying to get involved, you know, because from a younger age, you know, we have plans for ourselves, you know. Mm-hmm. And we never want to get caught up, and we know where the ghetto do. So we never want to get twined up, you know. We do get twined up, but we don't get wine up, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get it 100%. And what was your attraction to music? When was the first time you remember either hearing an artist, hearing a song or something, and you liked it? Well, with me, the music is an inborn thing. Mm-hmm. Because as far as I can remember, my mother, mm-hmm. you know, see Mama Shirley, usually fling his slippers, you know, or the fire stickers to bass, stop your eyes, you know, you have to mm-hmm. eyes around the yard, and, you know, you saw that nine, and, you know, go f- take a book, you know, mm-hmm. me as a, yeah, so it's an inborn thing. But really and truly, my mother and father split up. Mm-hmm. So when them split up now, me still there, Mackay Lane, you know, and then my mother leave my father and she go to Clarendon, mm-hmm. me a pit, you know. But, you know, she not leave her youth them. So she come back in at the night, you know, mm-hmm. when him not the boat, and uh, he was a man, eh, him not, cause, him not, him not a rum, eh, not a, but him drink, him not a Guinness and stuff. And, mm-hmm. you know, he was a builder. A very great man. I have nothing bad to say about my father. He's a very great man, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I even get my wisdom from, you know? Yeah, so she come steal us. Yeah. Back from Mackay Lane and take us to Maypin, you know? Mm-hmm. And then we there at Maypin and father come for me and she wouldn't let me back, you know? Yeah. She keep us and start to go to school in Maypin, Maypin Secondary. You know what I'm And down there for a while, you know? Mm-hmm. And then... Bigger brother them come down now and you know start to get involved in you know, different things you now, politics and all mm-hmm. these things, you know see? <laughs> yeah, the old Ram Tally and them and they mm-hmm. so you find say things kinda get heated, you know. And then my bigger brother just dive back to Kingston, back to Pain Avenue and mm-hmm. just end up back at Pain Avenue again, Barn Gong. Okay, just like that. And then where did the music start to enter where you said you were born with it, but where did you start to manifest it then? So, really and truly, you know, Maypin was the first place. Mm-hmm. Yes, because there was a concert I can remember going on over uh, Palmer's Cross. Mm-hmm. But through me always, as I say, I do my little thing, you know, the yard, you know, mm-hmm. but I threw my thing at, around the yard, you know. My bigger brother, mm-hmm. Mrs. Everall, said to me, say, um, and they tell me, I'm just pay for me enter. Um, I went uh, them time there is like I think it was a buck fifty or two bills. Mm-hmm. See? And a box of beer, red stripe. But as a young youth, you can't drink beer. Yeah. So, you know, I come second. Okay. Yeah, I come second and 
you know, we, we get the, the, the beer prize, you know. Was any, was there anybody notable that actually beat you to come first? Yeah, the, the person that actually come first, you know, is is that era man too, is that era youth, you know. Mm-hmm. So you find, say, we leaving from Kingston, come there you now, just moving to Palmer's class now. P.S. they should say, we, we, we not going in him, because yeah. in bad and go there, <laughs> people they watch your film more, but mm-hmm. me the kind of nervous, because that was my first time in front of a crowd. In front of a crowd? Yeah, that was my first time, you know. Okay. So me kind of nervous. I shot and everything, and just the nice of the people, they might cheer mm-hmm. for me, you know, kind of give me a little call for them, but they can look at one eye open and prep, you know, mm-hmm. and she say, yeah, hands are go up, you know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah man, and we just mm-hmm. continue from there, so we just, we just love it, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so you did the contest in Clarendon. So then yeah. did you actually, so what were the next steps after that then that you actually say, okay, I like this, let me go into this some more? Yeah, so when we come back now at home, you know, mm-hmm. come back up in you know, you have a son named Burning Spear. Mm-hmm. Made a bridge in name, Wave Man. That's, mm-hmm. that's on there away. Al Campbell and <clears throat> Louis Lepke and... You know, the whole of the man them really come and you know, sugar mine that same way. Okay. Yeah, well, burning mm-hmm. spear, man, you know, see, and you know, see me even toots. You know, you usually come over this up and them son in the earlier days, you know, see. Okay. Yeah, cause mm-hmm. my mother and father and toots them are like friends, you know. Me and them a song with toots before him die, you know. Yeah. So then you know and we got a burning spear, you know, we got a burning spear play every evening. Mm-hmm. So we can just go this, you know. I'm going to go see a youth named Sancho. Hmm. And you have squid the bomb and them man there, you know, seeing. So, hmm. <clears throat> we just start to perform DJ in the yard and we start to DJ and, you know, people start to get around and, you know, we know, say, boy, yeah, we, we get to understand now, say, there, you know, say that Sonia, I can't be you that they come sing pan and, you know, say that Sonia, Freddie did the compass through one of the time and, hmm. you know, sugar and, you know, that Sonia come like a legend in hmm. the era. So, and what year was this that you got uh, Burning Spear? So Burning Spear, you know, we get to Burning Spear like 80, 83, 84, because 82 was the election, and mm-hmm. after election get hot and things get loose up and things, you know, we decided to buy to take ourselves from Clarendon now and mm-hmm. come back at town. So that's the time now when we start, uh, you know, from Burning Spear, and then you now you have romantic... <laughs> oh, my Macaulay, no. Little John song. Little there. John yes, song, man. yeah. Mm-hmm. So we, they are burning spear, you know, me, daddy life, and, mm-hmm. you know. We, daddy, are going and do everything thing now till we start go over romantic now, we call it Thursday night at the fight, you know. Mm-hmm. But them time, we, daddy, are watch. Yeah. Look at John, them are come to, go a friend and I come to back and hold up a big chain and. Mm-hmm. We see the lifestyle and we say, yo, I reach this, you know. We see Low Lip Key, you know, see, we see Lee Van Cliff, you know. Yeah, we see Papa Tyan and all the man, so we say, yo, mm-hmm. oh, I make it the way there, you know. So, you know, the goal did it and the anxiety start to build, you know. Mm-hmm. So, we know, so we, we go a romantic now and me and daddy life. Squidly Bam and a youth named Baby Bop, you know. Mm. We, we come like the, the top man on that song, they don't. Okay. Yeah, we come yeah. like the top man, Everton as a selector, and, you know. Mm-hmm. But Little John now was the giant, mm-hmm. you know. Daddy's crew, and, you know, I have a bridge named Shadow Man too. Full yes. of lyrics. Yes, Shadow Full man. of lyrics. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Shadow Man, full of lyrics. But no far as you that they take Shadow Man lyrics to man, because, you know. Mm-hmm. But it's a humble bridge, you yeah. know. Yeah, so. We just start kick it by romantic, you know, see, mm-hmm. and from we start kick it by romantic, it's like, we see the, the future get bright, we see the glory are coming, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we just know, say, boy, we have to just work hard. Romantic, what were some, uh, do you remember any big nights while you were on Romantic? Yeah, man, one of my greatest memories with Romantic, you know, because there's a lot of places we go with Romantic and shell it, in time I say shell it, shell yeah. it. And a lot of sound come out, because them time they have volcano too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, one of my biggest nights with Romantic, it was when uh, Romantic, Stone Love and Creation, you know, at, at Eagles Nest Land. Yeah. Or Wild Top, you know. And we don't know, Stitch them. And Wolfman, them are a child, mm-hmm. wicked, you know. Mm-hmm. I forget them, them perhaps got them bad, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. And Stone Love. Just a play music and dance nice. Mm-hmm. 
woman to go on, but me and Uncle John them time they never two the pan or grounds, you know. Okay. We we have a look of follow, but we're good. Mm-hmm. You see, but you know, we have a look of argument, I mean. But the whole place has a jobs. Mm-hmm. You have to go in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you see, so <laughs> when we go in, man, I think you know, I start to perform, you know. It's, it's like the thing turn, you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Sister Chido start look over and you know. <laughs> and they call that yeah, mm-hmm. John and John did it and it the vibe just get right. Mm-hmm. And it was like it was just me for fifteen and the vibe just right and from fifteen, you know, it, it's like the next man in there just jobs, you know. Japanese, jobs, jobs, Japanese and yeah. you know, yeah, it's a sweet vibes, you know. It was like nobody kill nobody. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, but the dance, our side build up, our momentum build up, and yeah. people know say yo, you have to respect our uh, Japanese and them and the dead so you mm-hmm. can't walk on the song. Because remember, <laughs> you're talking about Stereo One, and at this time here, Stereo One was killing wow. every king in their path at this wow, time. Man. Man. Well, you, you are the greatest thing now. Now, mm-hmm. here, which artists not them time there? Mm-hmm. Acha, I am. Anytime Japanese put on the art. Mm-hmm. A different vibes. <laughs> we're, we're almost ready for that. We're not ready for that. <laughs> yeah, different vibes. <laughs> different vibes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Before we even go too far, your name Japanese. Original. How did you get that name there? Well, originally start was you know, my original name is Colin. Mm-hmm. So my bigger brother, one of my bigger brother, which was Delroy, you know, we were at in my father's yard and we are searching for a name, but Mm-hmm. It's like every name we search for another artist have it already because we are talking about Lee Van Cliff, Louis Lepke and you know mm-hmm. Big Youth and the whole works. So my brother was just come to the name and said Japanese. Mm-hmm. And me I said, yeah, and I said, yeah man, mm-hmm. Japanese man. So as him I said Japanese, me I said, yeah. I'm not bad the name Japanese. Mm-hmm. So I started, give me your ears, give me your ears, I'm in the Japanese. Yellow man, yellow but him, yellow like cheese. Mom and Dolly punch on this thing like bass. Children with manners, them no beg them say, please give me your ease, give me your ease. So me ninja, you see it? Yeah. And I'm from there, so you know, we just stick on to the name. And what it, when you became a DJ, did you have a name before Japanese or this was a DJ name yeah. that you chose? Yeah, my name was Colin. So mm-hmm. I go by ranking Colin. <clears throat> yeah, just go by ranking, calling. So, mm-hmm. but my brother I said, "Boy, that's your right name. You know why you use your right name? You mm-hmm. know, you just you want to capture a name and work with it, you know." And then when you turned your name to Japanese, that was when you were on Burning Spear or when you got to Romantic. Burning Spear from Burning Spear. Yeah, Burning so you Spear. got to Romantic as Japanese. Japanese. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Burning Spear, I was part. You know, everything mm-hmm. started. You know, we start to mm-hmm. compile everything together for go our road, you know. Give me two more nights on romantic. Afro being land. Mm. Afro being land. And the, some of the nicest night them really. Mm-hmm. See, when we go to road, it's memorable because we go out there and we go out there among some big fish, you know, mm-hmm. and them can't walk away. You know, see, but some of the good nights them are same place where that romantic at the fight, you know, see, because when you're there romantic at the a Thursday night at the fight now, mm-hmm. you have everybody come there, so. You have Admiral Bailey, they have Lieutenant, you have Papa Sandy Pass too. Then time uh, Bonte, Bonte was you them time still. Yeah, Bonte Hunter. Mm-hmm. You them time, they ain't seen, so he never done at the IP yet, they ain't mm-hmm. seen. But we can't know him or get there. But it was you them time, they ain't seen. Mm-hmm. Some of them things you have Bonte, they don't remember still, you know? Perhaps. Yeah, 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 for real. Respect due to them still at all times, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. So we go, uh, uh, I see you. Mm-hmm. And there was an artist down there, you know, by the name of Japanese, too. Okay. So I said, What do you know? <laughs> oh, this I go work out, yeah. So that's how the clash start now. Mm-hmm. And put him to rest. That way. <laughs> <laughs> so when we put him to rest, though, the community said, Why? Well, change your name, give him a name, you know, yeah. see it. I would call him honorable dog from that. Yeah. 
Yeah, man. Yeah. He was here in Canada too. He's back in Jamaica now. Okay. Yeah, and his name was Honorable yeah, Doghead. Dog yeah, changed wow. my Japanese Honorable Doghead. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, man. Yeah. Man, <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. You know, we are coming from the stable by Al Campbell and them, and they're the greatest yeah. monster in the whole thing, you know, see? Yeah, man. And going out there now, you know, we start to come among some of the sons and we start to observe DJ like Sassafras and. Mm. General trees, and you know, we are saying, Oh, they may a legend, they may are the business, they may are the business, yeah, they may own the business. So, you know, we're giving them respect, we always are giving them respect, but you know, mm-hmm. we're not climbing on one shoulder, we just step up beside them, you know, and make them know, say, Yeah, we're full of love, and we soon do it, and we mm-hmm. love it, and it's born in a way, so we are going to do it, you know, mm-hmm. and it just start to go. Yeah, man, we just keep watering it, you know? Mm-hmm. Keep it there. And one mm-hmm. last night around Romantic before we go on to your next song there. Well, um, as I said now, Afro being land now mm-hmm. is when we go to Afro being land and go on another section there. If you're not spit lyrics right, you know, mm-hmm. you know, you hear a leader, they will tell us to leave. <laughs> <laughs> you know, see? So, when we go there now, it's like, me, Shadow Man, mm-hmm. and Barker B, you know, mm-hmm. just crew and we just have a ball that's the next morning when we come home, it's like people just start to uplift with mm-hmm. by just a talk about our performance, you know, because we are perform live and, you know, we are going to dance early and I leave late and we stand up the whole night and I entertain the people, the man. It's just such a joy. Mm-hmm. But when we come out, we might some memory there. When we come outside, some activity go on, somebody get killed on a boat island and thing and then the next man we get to realize uh, somebody where we know, you know. Hmm. So it always sticking on my brain, you know, because was somebody where my brother used to deal with mm-hmm. them family, you know, so it all is sticking on my brain, see, boy, I look out with the right one, you know, there's a fun and joy, and somebody on the road a cry and a ball, you know. So I always remember that, say, yo, mm-hmm. sometimes you enjoy yourself, other people out there. Nah, you, not the same, you know. You get it 110%. Life is funny like that. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. How long did you do Unromantic? Well, um... I said, we're there romantic from 86 to the 87. We got straight up till romantic done, you know, maybe, maybe one a good 10 years with romantic cars. Although we leave and go other songs, we mm-hmm. always come back a romantic because mm-hmm. sometimes we're there in the place and all the day time, you will see all five, six, seven cars come for me. Mm-hmm. People are going to Frankfield, Chapleton, you know, Mandeville, you know, Moby, different, different songs. Mm-hmm. You know. So, my bridging there, uh, me usually, me and me usually go out now, see Shadow Man. Mm-hmm. I always say, come Shadow. And we make a move, you know. Go out, go eat food and come back and feel sweet, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, nice, you know. Because this time, I guess you're really. You're thinking it really popped off now because you said several different songs and song owners are coming to check you. Yeah, man. So you could come DJ on their song. Yeah, man. All over, man. Mm-hmm. All over, man. Mm-hmm. People are come. Okay, so then what was the... Where did you get your big break then in the business? So, all right. So the thing is now, when we do a romantic now, we get draw for Pan Zodiac, me and Danny Dredd. Danny okay. Dredd, DJ Danny Dredd. Yeah. Danny Dredd just did it before me, so mm-hmm. they pulled me in and we did it. So we did them I go from Zodiac back and forth to Romantic. Mm-hmm. Then now you have a son named him, Torpedo. Mm-hmm. Torpedo come out now with Glenn Pope as the owner. Paul Antonio manage it and thing and them draw me in the same way. Mm-hmm. So they start to set me away in all these places. You know see? But when I come back to town now, it's Metro Media now. Metro Media? Yeah, Metro yeah. Media now. Um, Peter Metro. I don't, I'm not quite sure if I even tell Daddy Mitchell about me or whatsoever. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you know, Peter Mitchell, the man. Mm-hmm. See? And 
Peter Mitchell, one of my idols. You know. Okay. Yeah, one of my yeah. idols. I'm not give enough love and you know, encourage all the youth and you know, try and best. Mm -hmm. You understand me? With us, you know. Never show off power or nothing. So, we have to always respect that. Up to today, they made him good like that. You know, okay. See? Yeah, man. So, Daddy mentioned them come for me. Become profound. Mm -hmm. And the song. So, I say, okay. So, when you go now, I'm going to make sure I'm going to play a shell. Yeah. <laughs> so, Peter, what? I think Peter did that England at the time. Okay, so when you got to Metro Media at this time, who were the other DJs or singers on Metro at this time here now? Well, at that time, you have Tanto Metro. Mm -hmm. Cause you know Tanto did it before me mm -hmm. with Peter. You have Tanto Metro. Danny Dredd did the same way. You have Dick Rankin, Snagapus. You, know, you have Squidly. Mm -hmm. you know. Squidly is a man on and off. You know, see? And then, you know, we no one of them come through until them did it. We no one of them actually they are mature one at a time. You know, see, but one that know am I bridging that in a sense? One that singing melee, we know one that yeah. singing melee and Connor Crystal. You know, see, yeah, what are we? Uh, Connor Crystal singing melody, romantic. Yeah, you know, John you them, our bridging them. You understand? Know, we are them song. Pencil out song together, Crystal and think uh, um Pat um look at John Brother was a writer. Mm. Okay. Yeah, he was a writer for Connor Crystal. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah man. Paul Pose I mean. Yeah. Mm. So when they are Metro Media now we start and Peter come back now, you know. The work Peter, you know, uh, Peter who put the input, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So once Peter put the input on Peter See where I work. Peter said, yeah, jobs. One of you tell me. And I see, one of you tell me. And from this one, you know, everywhere I met you go, Japanese, they, they represent, mm -hmm. represent properly. And Peter always I say, boy, one thing with jobs, never let you down yet. Yeah. Never let you down yet, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, actually, when we get the real break, with Metro mm -hmm. is when Peter, I think that was year the seven, Peter, their son splash. Yes. Yeah, their son splash. And mm -hmm. I get a, you call me, in my man, mm -hmm. film show, film thing. I get a call on. And from I get a call on, I hesitate. Yeah. From I put on the hat, shillings. <laughs> shillings right to what? So, okay, this is the second time you brought up this hat. Yeah. Let's talk about this hat here now. Yeah. Roughest hat, man. How did you even come up with something like that? Because I remember to this day, every time you see in a video and you perform that song, it's like you have to perform it like three, four, five, that, six, that, seven, that, eight, that, nine, that, ten. That. Yeah, that's all that. That's all that. Goes. And the thing with the hat, the hat, no curious generation coming even up to the day, just mm -hmm. amazing. Because when you do things that's unique, mm -hmm. people want to know, oh, I'm do that, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm do that. So, oh, I'm come by the hat now is freeze one me there. Yeah. Because my father, you know, as I said, go back, my father is a contractor, mm -hmm. carpenter. So, me there freeze one, my brother, them. And we had some character work. Mm -hmm. Them time, me there romantic still. Yeah. See? So, we watch the sun run on the road. You know the sun run come on the road so and get, get hot. Mm -hmm. That's like a cool shit that just run and you see it just get bright. So we had to do some curve work. And then we see our brother did it. And the brother did have on the hat. Okay. And the man just goes so. Boom and draw down the hat. And when he draw down the hat, the hat just come down so. I just come by my shield, just shield the, the, the sun. Yeah. <laughs> so we said, what? <laughs> That look amazing, brother. Mm -hmm. So I step up to him and I say, yo, I see that at the no? Mm -hmm. And I say, no, and I say, no, I just want to see it because, you know, it, 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 just, it just do something so because it just depends on him now one. Yeah. And look smart. And then when he move me, it just come big. And I say, what? 
So I'm sorry, I didn't input it in my hand. I mean, if you want to offer it to me. I mean, I said, have you seen the you know, Japanese? The restaurant? You know, we need it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We need it, man. So if I'm going to offer it, you never get it back, you know? Yeah. And, and that was the history with it, you know? It's like everywhere the art go, create, art create, brother. Do you, and how did you build the lyrics? Because, okay, now you have this hat, what was what were you thinking? Say, okay, what am I gonna do with this hat here right now? Well, it's just the brain, you know. Cause I'm a man who always I think, even up to now, mm-hmm. I always I think the brain flexible. Yeah. So when we get there, you now the first thing is the name Japanese just match back with that mm-hmm. to me. It's like boom, it just register. Yeah. So me I say okay. We back in the yard now. I mean I said, but brother, them did not try to give me some name. Mm-hmm. And then my name is Cowboy or sort of thing. So we just we use the ad now and I say, we're going to use the ad. And we start, we say this, are the Indian. Because when you have it on straight up, uh, so the Indian, they wear them out with the feather mm-hmm. and thing, you know. So I say, this is for the Indian and don't so the Cowboy and Mexican and, you know, uh, Jamaican, <laughs> American. And, you know, we just start putting it together, you know, see mm-hmm. it? Yeah, so when we go to Romantic, Romantic at the first place, we go to Shell it. Okay, that was the first time that yeah. they seen this hat trick. Yeah, man. So mm-hmm. when we go to Romantic now, the whole place Shell down now. Mm-hmm. So when we move towards Mitchell, we move with it, you know? Yeah. The night on Sunsplash, was that the first night you actually got on a big show big with, with yeah, the man. hat? Yes, man. That's walk us I... through. Take our time and walk us through that Sunsplash, because Sunsplash is a big, humongous stage. Well, you see... The, the 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 blood are boil backstage there. Mm-hmm. The nervous is high. Mm-hmm. See? But the anxiety and the urge is there mm-hmm. more. Because we know say yo, you see Dakota. Mm-hmm. If we bust Dakota, we gone three gate, man. Mm-hmm. So we are looking at your plane, we are looking at America, we are looking at <laughs> everywhere. So we are saying, yo, we can't go out there and go flap, you know. Mm-hmm. Moreover, we can't go out there and go let down Peter, you know. Because mm-hmm. Peter a shelly thing, you know, so we can't go out there and go let down Peter. So when we go out there, the people, them, like, them, they have a weird feet, you know. So from them see it and, you know, people from way down the next tail, you know, who can barely make it out, they go crazy. So we just do the thing short and spicy and nice. Mm-hmm. Do it around three times. Because you know it's a thing you can do one time. Do it around three times and just come off. And when we come off on the backstage now, you know, people start to come around, take names and stuff like that. You know, never have no phone though. Mm-hmm. So we give people off a contact with, you know, say, yo, you can't come up here every now and just ask the Japanese man, you're good man, but not trouble, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, see, cause we did there, we make a fleshy them and we did there, you know. We think government, you know, see. Mm-hmm. So we yeah, said, come in, man. Tell a lot of people that, and then, you know, we did there. <coughs> then now, pick out. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. pick out the boy, you know, see if we come by, it's not true there. Mm-hmm. And me, I mean, I said, all right, we have to buy it, see. But actually, the rhythm ninja man of one big tune for the two, we ain't the one down, mm-hmm. the whole of them, but the rhythm, Shadow Man is the one who the rhythm lay for. It was really Shadow Man? Shadow Man. Yeah. Yeah. Shadow Man, the rhythm lay for. Mm-hmm. So when Tinga and Ninja them come to cover me and all these things, Shadow Man, the rhythm with really the lay so <clears throat> to Ninja get the break on it, you know? Yeah. yeah. Because the big songs were, the biggest one was the um, Cover Me with Ninja yeah. and Tinga. Yeah, and Tinga. The Wayne Wonder and Freddie. Yeah. Over now. I mean, and carry, you. I mean, carry them on a gas through there and Freddie, you know? Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, carry them gas through them, man. The interjoice to pick out, you know, mm-hmm. see? Where did you guys record that song? Dynamics. Dynamics. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, carry them as you pick out, man, and pick mm-hmm. out, say, yeah. Yeah. And then now when the voice is say one down fifty and it was a joke, you know. Mm-hmm. But them bad. You know, big up in the one that they said speed, I don't know, respect mm-hmm. in the manners, you know. 
and you guys, everybody recorded their songs the same day, or this was over a period of time? Over a period of time. Mm-hmm. Everybody did them thing different. But then there were Ninja Vice to car. We put in a well look at two cents in, a, in, a, in, in a the lyrics, same way. Okay. Yeah, see. Because I saw the business you was going on. You know, no man, uh, no man, uh, try to show off by no man, uh, no man, uh, say, boy, I'm putting that and like a my song, that and. You know me I say, me mm-hmm. not really me especially. Me not me not deal with them level there. You know see, my story is about the glory part of the music, the mm-hmm. niceness part of the music, the the, the, the sufferation where I come from and where the music takes us now. You know. Definitely get that. So then now you recorded this. Was that your first time in a studio to record? No, my first time in a studio is Padan Tony. Okay. But Antonio the first man bring me to a studio. Mm-hmm. You know, record a song name. You know, Jamaica land, so it's a nice land, but it's a land with lots of poor man. And I am one of them need a foundation. Oh, you go and get it cute if you not function. And I am going up to turn a big man. And from a big man, then you turn a old man. In your days, you go and need your program. If you don't have it, Mr. Be a safariation. Follow me now. Make you a life for the better. Make you a life, come on. Make you a life for the better. Yeah. Don't Listen, squander, don't squander. Big, big, big. Yes, man, you know. And why is that song for Palantoni? I end up, but why is it back for Exterminator? Okay, so you voiced it for Pat Anthony, and yeah. then it was years later you voiced yeah, it, for it for Exterminator. Yeah, Exterminator. Mm. Crazy. Okay, so then it was your second time in the studio to do the um, yeah. Roughest Hat Man. No, no, Roughest Hat Man only voice. Uh, by pick out, mm-hmm. never buys it for nobody. No, else. but I mean that was your second time in a studio to voice a yeah. song was Rough yeah. as Hat Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. What did that do for your career at that time? There, I want to tell you, say it pushed me very far. It took me out of poverty. Mm-hmm. They had taken me out of poverty. Definitely, they had. You know, yeah. We've been to England. Me and Metromeda. Uh, it, it, it's so funny. This job is so funny because when we go to England, it was me. Mm-hmm. Uh, Robert Lee, okay. Um, Peter Mitchell, mm-hmm. you know, Johnny P was there, Sky Jones, Echo Minot, you know. Uh, that was very, very, can't come out of my brain, yeah. out of my brain, because it's so funny, the first time I got England, two things reached me. The first time I got England, I come off of the plane, I come off of the plane, no way. Drive out, the on the promoter, stop. If you go buy some food, you know, see, that's when we discover say, England people mean to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No disrespect to the English, the respect and balance was just the story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, come on, just stop and go buy two parties. Then we ask you wherever you are, you know? <laughs> so, we ask them why. The promoter has moved different. Yeah. But it's amazing, you know, that. They come in at no have a number. Mm-hmm. Them time they have a long number where you use and can call back Jamaica and thing and you call free on the phone board, you know? Okay. So as me reach now, they come in at say, why just have a number here, you know? Give me the number and me quick now, everybody gone by the store and left me, you know? Me gone by the phone board and use the phone to call me, but I say, yo, I'm rich, you know? Mm-hmm. And think I'm excited and glad, you know? Of course. Yeah. Just as me start using the phone, you know? I see, me look, I see be a police. I see, you know, I say, what is this now? So, Mr. Hang it, neighbors, and I say, imagine, look how long it comes, I tell you, this is a number. And as me, you can get the number for you, it's a number. Me get busted, it's a number. Yeah. Carry a mashup, that's how I think. But, person you come and hold me and take me, and I realize, there's a lady that get where hmm. description fit me. Just a come and fire play. So can kind I of get me so mm-hmm. promoter find me back? Because I think the promoter was a liar or something, legal leader or something. Mm-hmm. And promoter find me back and, you know, I'm telling him, just come off my plane, could never be me. The lady come there still and she looked at me and, you know, say no, I don't need that, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, so they get off of that. Then, no. Mm-hmm. When we get the next day, you know, we go to the radio station now, we go to the interview. Mm-hmm. Me and underdog, nobody don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> nobody that <don't> can me. <laughs> everybody that can me, everybody else. Mm-hmm. Nobody knows Japanese. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Och när jag säger, han dem startar och måste jag menar sig, ja, vi har gått länge två kall, you know. Han sa, kall, jag har gått länge två kall, you know. Han sa, jag har gått länge två kall, you know. Han sa, jag har gått länge You started getting the calls. Start the Lenot call, you know. Start the Lenot call. That's nice, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. So, Metro Media had a glorify in my life, you know. Peter Metro, you know, he's a youth where I don't care what we achieve in life. We remember, say. Mm-hmm. Metro Media was the son. And Peter Mitchell was the son and the man at the same time. Because mm-hmm. people did all check say, ah, Peter Mitchell won Mitchell Miller. Yeah, because of the name. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nigga Mike did the own Mitchell Miller too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Nigga mm-hmm. Mike did the own Mitchell Miller yeah. too. Yeah. Through the same Peter Metro connection, you know? Yeah, I mean? man. Yeah, Metro's man. They know Peter. They know, mm-hmm. they know uh, uh, um, a Peter, uh, uh, the man, you know. Mm-hmm. What are we born as man, you know? Yeah. See? But then time we say Peter the man, Peter the one who get the brake first. Peter the one who drive Benz and all mm-hmm. that. And the reason why me talk so much about Peter, Peter is a man we never try to show off or even try to boss with mm-hmm. as a artist way. You know, see up there before, you know, see never try to even boss with like that or talk down to in any shape or form. Cause you know them time that me is a man where no man can't talk down to me still. Mm-hmm. You know, see him come around my guns. But just for no say a bridge you know, have a pose, a, a pose and him could you know, he mm-hmm. never him deal with the humble. You know, him deal with the humble and him coach us. Mm-hmm. You know. Coach me, coach Mikey, Tanto, you know, even Danny Dredd, you know, and him speak highly mm-hmm. of him crew. <laughs> Yeah, Which is a good thing when yeah. you have somebody, they say, okay, he's the, the bigger artist around his own, yeah. but he's taking care of everybody too. So, yeah, come, let's go. Yes. You understand? That's the type of encouragement that yeah. you And then we feel powerful and strong mm-hmm. because we know so if we are going around clash, or we are going around like, we don't really clash with no DJ. Mm-hmm. I see Peter Mitchell kill John Wayne one time, make him a spell all his name, you know. Yeah, walk out a dance, I spell all the name. You see what I mean? But we don't really clash with the, yeah. we clash, you know, but I don't sound and then DJ, mm-hmm. one group of artists over there, so one group of artists. Mm-hmm. So, all away, we know so we're strong within ourselves, but we feel powerful to carry we have a giant like Peter Mitchell beside mm-hmm. you. Know, and I see, can't uh, back up the thing in case, you know, we need that, you know, see. <laughs> so, <laughs> see so. You get it. Yeah, Talking man. about clash now, you remember any clashes you guys did on Metro Media? Well, you know, really, with, with Metro, Metro and Stone of Alice, I played together like two better. Mm-hmm. And remember, we played against mm-hmm. Pierce and this. We know, we know Metro Media is not, as a song where, you know, really, that, like, say, clash with other song. Mm-hmm. We play against other song and then it turn out into that. And I seen our mm-hmm. world of guns. Me, I seen. Uh, we play against all of the song, them. All of the song, them, we play against. Mm-hmm. But the world of guns, nobody can say then we about Metro Media. Mm-hmm. Cause the next morning, if a man even say him about Metro Media, we should not be a lie. But the next morning, Metro Media can't play seven days a week. When he might play all one day. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it doesn't so. matter what happened there. It no matter what happened. A, 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 a we attack at home. Mm-hmm. A we attack at home. Metro Media attack at home. Mm-hmm. Peter Metro, Japanese, Tanto Metro, Dr. C. Yes. Nigga Mikey. Mm-hmm. You see me, I say? I think Cutty Ranks were in wonder Cutty all of Rank. them. Right? Well, mm-hmm. well Cutty Ranks actually come after me. Okay. Yeah, because me start to travel mm-hmm. regular now. Mm-hmm. Seeing and by me start to travel regular now, it's like Cutty Rank in 15 in a MySpace, right? That's all. Mm-hmm. You know, see? So, that's why I come now with the bomber and start dropping bomber. And told me their friend regular now, just 15, like, you know, right mm-hmm. out, out, out of my space. So, so. Right there. Because when me did it, he never he, he passed through, but he never mm-hmm. did it. But when now me start to travel regular now, and it's like me, I leave Metro Media and I depend on my own in our sense, though. Mm-hmm. Then 15, cut the ranking 15 back. Mm-hmm. And did it. Give me some memorable nights on Metro Media. Because you said Metro played almost seven nights a week. So I know there are some yeah. nights that stick in your mind forever. Yeah, man. Chelsea. Mm-hmm. Chelsea, also Leo. Mm-hmm. You know, them places uh, where we go. And 
there la Chelsea I say al Ox the mm-hmm. DJ member Ox combo mm-hmm. and then time they say when you gone shot you know say illegal mm-hmm. no bad now on up and down man say so me DJ I'm going to start perform mm-hmm. yeah man matic empty <laughs> six pants empty yeah all right cuz them time when you when you when you attack and gone shot a boss you know mm-hmm. You feel more sweet, I know. Mm-hmm. You start to say, legal. <laughs> Le- yeah, sorry. You feel more sweet about. Mm-hmm. I mean, say, so me that it's a song where the memories, there's so many glorified moments with Metro, mm-hmm. you know, up at eight. We are eight again, a standpipe, and that are one of my next community again. Mm-hmm. And we, we perform for the people in, in my community who. Just know me and never really I see me perform in a community, just see me come come from fine but mama gone. And when they come around them see me. Mm-hmm. So if mm-hmm. perform for them now in the community me and Tiger now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was a joy every moment, man, if you do that for the people them in a stand like this. Mm-hmm. And you know, think I eat at the place. Mm-hmm. You know, see. That'll be you know. It's just like sitting down looking back. There is so many glorious times. Because even, even when they are Metro Media now, yeah. true Metro Media now, mm-hmm. Stereo Mars. Mm. Listen, Stereo Mars is my favorite song in the entire <laughs> world. Take your time with the Stereo Mars, please. Yeah. Please. <laughs> Tell me about Stereo Mars. Stereo Mars, them come for me now one night. I think, I don't remember if Peter did their yard. Uh, but when Stereo Mars them come for me, I mm-hmm. just forgot to perform for Metro Me now. Mm-hmm. But now the bigger money I got to talk. <laughs> 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 so you don't know what I'm saying. But them say, why is King say, you know, why all the sound in a car? Super cat they are foreign and mm-hmm. they need somebody to fill in. I look out the door, they may see. Um, one one bridge in the time I remember the sound name from Frankfield mm-hmm. and wait for me. I see our next bridge in Grand Chapelton and wait for me. Tarpedo, we forgot. St. Mary Tarpedo, Admiral Tibeta, Admiral Bailey, mm-hmm. and me, Jonah Demos. And I say, I met me that play, but still, my eyes are play, I watch it. One of them say, Yo, jobs are this. I'm going up. You see, we know skank personnel from a longer time. Okay. From nothing to something. Mm-hmm. You know, see, so we know trainer. We never call him skank a trainer. We call mm-hmm. him you know, a different. See, trainer just come out now. Yeah. Like, <laughs> a a bridging yeah. thing, a family thing, you know. Mm-hmm. So, go on, I'll stay with my husband. Okay. So, I'm going to stay with my husband and play a shell. So when patient now, skin call in mm-hmm. and talk to Pat, you know. And I saw him get a big bite now. Business can we are now through the roof now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so on Stereo Mars, you got a bike for coming to the song. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Yes, I got 1100, so mm-hmm. you know. Very right, nice, you know. So mm-hmm. anyway, Stereo Mars, they had them a day, you know. Mm-hmm. So when you got to Stereo Mars now, who were the staple artists on Stereo Mars at this time, you know? Well, Stereo Mars, you have Juna Cat, did it. Mm-hmm. You have Super Cat. You know, see, Nicodemus now, in and out. You know, see, and then you have Tenasa, and then you have Yami Bolo. Mm-hmm. And you have um, this Yota from Clarendon. Can't remember his name, you know. So, his name soon comes to me, that DJ. Mm-hmm. Japot, you know, too. Mm-hmm. You know, see. So we did their own Stereo Mars. And you know, so Stereo Mars is a song where Mountain and Dede, you see, some top man just come to cars, came with us draft for them, you know. Mm-hmm. And everybody loves Stereo Mars, God. Trina did it, everybody respect and, you know. Mm-hmm. So, they are Stereo Mars for a good while. Okay. But back and forth from Stereo Mars to Metro. Because this time, I think Stereo Mars was based in Mandeville at this time. Yeah. yeah they yeah, had man. like a garage or something out there. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know, I see, so. But then I may mean, say, you know, I'm sure I'm still. Because I'm still in my house, I'm sure. Yeah. So, because I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to come back, I'm sure, yeah, I'm permanent, you know. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to 
come back and they have me up permanent now. They go to show me and tell about England. So you didn't fly on Skirmers? No, I fly past them. Mm-hmm. It was Metro. only Metro? <clears throat> Metro. How many times did you fly at Metro Media? I fly, um, one time I fly at Metro, you know. Mm-hmm. One time I fly at Metro, go to England. Mm-hmm. Do a tour with them because by the time I start get my, my passport now, I start get visa, I start to... Uh, no, like me, I tell me, fly with me, I come back here, I come back here, well. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 But one time we got England. Yeah. We come back here, I come back here, well, with me, you know what, what was the first time, like, coming to Canada on Metro Media? Well, we come, we come back here, I still you know. It was like, people did a wait. At this time here? Yeah, people mm-hmm. did a wait. People are wait for me because... Um, uh, the bridge in the dance near Tel Aviv. Mm-hmm. And then you have Patrick Shirley, um, Christine. Mm-hmm. There was a Chrissy the promotion. So them do the paperwork and send for me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm So when you come here you now, can we do 31 shows here? Eh? How many shows you did here? 31 shows here. Yeah. <laughs> in one run, or this yeah. was back and forth? Back and forth, back and forth. On Metro Media, that's how no, many you did? No, no, not yeah. on Metro Media. I do okay. around maybe six shows on Metro Media or so, but I do like, unless I show them, I come on my own, you know? Yeah. Concert, and <laughs> party center, different, different places. And like Montreal. The yeah. biggest song you had at this time here was Hat Man. The Hat Man. Yeah. And yeah. this is how this Hat Man had this place so yeah, weak? Man. Yeah, man. They had, 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 they from year to six, you know. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, we still have that, you know. You still have that? Yeah. You know what? I should have asked you if you had it and asked you to bring it along because that is one of the most legendary items in dance hall where you can't really say, okay, somebody else has like a hat, a sword, a pa- something. But once no, you say that hat, everybody the, knows what you're talking only, about. It's the only act mm-hmm. in the entertainment business that I've been never copied. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to use the word pirate. You know, mm-hmm. I've never been copied. <clears throat> Just did it. And so amazing. I'm surprised you too because mm-hmm. you see this bag here? Yeah. This bag is the bag where the hat always keep in hand. This bag. <laughs> you see what I said? So, what the, oh, this hat here? Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, uh, you have the hat. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, this is the hat, man. That's the hat. <laughs> this is the office hat, man. man. So, Listen. Yeah, man. Okay, you know what? Since you have it on, I need you to flick it a couple so of ways to show me. Two tight, okay. <laughs> so you use it again and you it down. So it's so what I say. Mm-hmm. This is how I know it, honey. Mad, madder than, mad, madder than, mad, 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 japa me a rofi sat man all over. But when you say me, you know me, you tanti and ja, watcha. This is one, had the Indian and fix it so you get the cowboy one and this is one, had Jamaican and this is one, it had the Japanese one. That's it. And that's the same hat. Same hat. Same hat. Same hat. Same bag. Same hat. Watch it. Let me just show you something. Look, you see this? Mm-hmm. So this look? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. I you know we are clean. We yeah. have to keep clean. So I know dirty the bag, dirty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I age that. That is in from '86. We're talking about yeah, here. Yeah, from '86, man. Listen, last that's time right. this performer, me, uh, Luciana. Yeah. JCA. Ah, uh, shillings. Mm-hmm. Rough as hat, man. Crazy. You came Cheers, to Canada. Man. You did your thing. What other places did you travel to as an artist those times there? Well, just the state. Mm-hmm. You go to the state. You know, just the state, Canada and England. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, Sammy. Um, I'm not a person that like fly. Okay. So when I get an offer in Japan. I hear about this 18 hour business now. I hear I mean, I say, Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. when you go to England, mm-hmm. I think it was nine hours on the flight, you know. And you know, me don't really like it, you know, so you don't know, see, me don't like it. Me don't yeah. like it. So we never pursue and, you know, if you go to Japan, you know, get offer still, you mm-hmm. know, see. Because there was a book. There was this company write a book 
man bought me. With, okay. Yeah, with the hat and stuff, you know, see, and we get half, pick out, get half, for, um, for my song, for a movie, and, um, you know, uh, I think they never pay him when he want, you know, mm -hmm. so he didn't give them the rights, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but me didn't want to go in it, guys. Yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it just was, you know, yeah. but now we understand the business, you know, mm -hmm. we don't make nothing fight away again, mm -hmm. you know, see, but at that time, me didn't want to go in it, because I said, yeah, you know, see, but my achievement is great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you record any other songs for Picot, or that was the only one? Yeah, man, I do a well, lot of songs for Picot, you know, a lot mm -hmm. of songs. I do uh, me and Upton James record for Picot. Mm -hmm. You know, I do uh, me do lyrics basket for pick out. You know, cause there was a a, a all star out, you know, with me, Ninja Man, and Johnny P. Okay. Yeah, rough mean and deadly. <coughs> VP promote that. You, Johnny P, and, and Ninja Man. One album. Yeah, we call it All Star. Rough yeah. mean and deadly. How did that do? Well, that was a, that. That look very good because mm -hmm. you know them time there, you know Johnny P a kick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, so anything Johnny P and Ninja Man depend, he just shh. Mm -hmm. So with me, you know, you know me prime time now drop on the album. I wouldn't even say me carry the album. Mm -hmm. You know, see, people just know say yeah, jobs. Me have to listen jobs too. Yeah. You know, see, and it just fly. Mm -hmm. You know, see, so. VP you now have some paper for you. VP, uh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are those things? Did you guys actually ever perform on a song or on a stage or together, you, Ninja Man, and Johnny P? Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, man. yeah, man. All over. Mm -hmm. All over. Cause we are like family, man. Johnny P, I'm the next bridge. We're like, I don't even say bridge, like a brother. Cause mm -hmm. Every morning, man, Johnny P, he love each other. Okay. Every morning. Every morning. Mm -hmm. I like that family. If him come here, you know, mm -hmm. now nah, come here, I'm mean, not seeing. And he you know, stick around me. Mm -hmm. You know, see him till he's ready for left here. So, I saw me and Johnny P. Ninja, see you, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ninja, see you, man. You know, see him. So, me and Ninja perform over here, so, and Johnny P, see him, you know. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, man. We have, we, have, we have a great time in the business. Yeah. You know? And, we not take nothing away from the youth them now we are performing because a different genre, mm -hmm. different era, different time. We not take nothing from them. But the only thing with me and what's going on now mm -hmm. is that the violence that's in the business, mm -hmm. it's ridiculous. You know, the violence too much in the business. Like, when you say the violence, as in the music or what's actually going on? Well, the artists, they know I really claim feet. But watch out. Mm -hmm. If you are going to roll it a click, and you can't control your click, then don't roll it a click. Mm -hmm. Because everything going to be on your shoulder. Because right now, <clears throat> if you're in an artist class right now, mm -hmm. and just say, yeah, rub him out. And friends them start to say, boy, yeah, this is boss. And then it's a different area you're going in at this one. Mm -hmm. And I see, you know, so that's the part that I just not like <coughs> about the, the, you know, the music. But style goes and style comes. And you have to learn if you adapt, you know. A straight pants me right now. Mm -hmm. And one time gone, it was pants of a big arrow me. You understand? But if me want to look, Fresh and still, they have to wear straight pants. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, we know we know, we know can them the youth, them. Mm -hmm. We respect them, you know. We just ask them to just try to take control more, you know. Because, my belief, I feel like if the artist them really step out and decide to say, oh, too much of this are going on, you know, I look at Jamaica. Mm -hmm. It can put under control. Yeah. Yeah. It can give a help in them, so to speak. Makes yeah. total sense. Yeah. With even recordings now, who else did you record for back then? We record for, we record for um, Bobby Digital. You recorded for Bobby? Yeah. 
record for Fata Collins. Okay. Yeah. My record for, um, as I say, Exterminator. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My record, I do one song for Toots. Yes. Yeah. And I do two songs for Ziggy. I don't know what become. Is it? Come here, Ziggy was friend. Like that Ziggy Marley. Okay, that was just what Ziggy you speaking about Ziggy here. Marley. Yeah. yeah. Ziggy Marley was friend. Cause Ziggy Marley usually come up in Avenue and, you know, give me all food, wool in a bag mm-hmm. to give to the old people in my community. Mm-hmm. You know, we used to do a tough guy. We had him, <coughs> and him come in him link we and we go and all back to go and check our bridge in Kuna we and Ziggy and thing, you know. So we were cool like that. Mm-hmm. You know, see, I haven't seen Ziggy in a long while now, yeah. still. But, you know, I always respect Ziggy. Mm-hmm. Just like that. You know, see? And those you recorded over at Tough Gun? Yeah, Tough Gun yeah. record those. Yeah. What was your experience dealing with, like, a Bobby Digital? Or, uh, I'm going blank now, from Exterminator? Well. Fatis Burrell. Yeah. What was it like linking with those two producers there? Well, Bobby, no. He's a man now where when him him see me, me there a pentos mm. at the time. And he said to me, say, boy, in my record, the boy I'm come around and come buy his two tune for me, you know? Mm-hmm. So I saw me end up and reach on there. And it was an honor mm-hmm. for no say Bobby himself asked him to come. Mm-hmm. Cause as I say, me is a man now. The thing with me now, me wasn't, you wasn't one of them artists that were like with Vice Vice. Me I figured a, that much. Yeah, me is a sound mm-hmm. artist. I figured that yeah, much. Yeah, me is a sound artist. You mm-hmm. know, me, maybe out all of the artists, they could have a less record. Mm-hmm. Cause two back then, the, the, the DJ record now really play and I dance. Got you. Yeah, they it play, was singers and then you DJ. And they DJ. So mm-hmm. me more interested in that. Me you not know, seeing. Mm-hmm. So. Do we think when a person come and ask you, but me love the song, mm-hmm. perform life here, right through. Mm-hmm. So it was a pleasure when Bobby asked me, you know, see? Mm-hmm. And then me there in a pain avenue and exterminator, that is send call me, come a dynamics, mm-hmm. come record feel. Mm-hmm. And we got record the song when we do feel. But on to <laughs> Yeah. And that was the first time me and me me Luciana to before him Ross. Before he Ross. Yeah. Uh, uh, and it's so funny. Me and Luciana did a song and the song was so nice. Mm-hmm. And me end up come a friend and when family called me, the song get wiped by accident. Yeah. Yeah, the song got white by accident. Like peace I didn't you know, mess up and we mm-hmm. go back and do it and we never get the chance. <clears throat> we never get the chance. Me and Lucia go up to today the yesterday. Yeah. And Bridge and same way. Crazy before he rests. That's that's interesting. I always like those parts where you meet somebody before what everybody sees him as. Because we know yeah. Luciana as the Ross, okay? That's how we know him. But yeah. clearly there had to be a point in your life yeah, before just, you rest. All right, I tell you something. Mm-hmm. It's just like Shaba. Mm-hmm. When we there romantic, Shaba there romantic, you know. He was over there. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. That's how Shaba come across, you know. Mm-hmm. But sometimes, you know, no disrespect to none of the artists, you know, mm-hmm. but sometimes, you know, you sit down and watch the interview and watch them talk, and sometimes you say, how oh, comes you can't remember a certain part of the history of the business, you know? Yeah. You're just the win of the highlight, <laughs> win of the sunshine, you know. You don't yeah. remember nothing about the like night, mm-hmm. you know, see. Yeah, man. But me, man, now, as I said, I have always remember the night, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, and next artist, I call him name already, and I have to say respect to him, is Al Campbell. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. Al Campbell is a man who uh, usually go out far and come back and I see him bring things to my brother, them and stuff like that, you know, see. Mm-hmm. You know, Michael Palmer, always I come check me when he come from mm-hmm. fine. King of Civics, be a Civics, him drive, I think I will have a chair that mm-hmm. nice, and I always come and I say Japanese, eh. See a piece of food there, so them man there, mm-hmm. you know, we always a look up, you know, mm-hmm. and then we return the favor, and we give thanks so we can return the favor. No, can we do a lot of that too? Mm-hmm. You know, saying, yeah, man, can we do a back to school thing? Mm-hmm. Where we send back kids back to school, and you know, we also get jobs of people too, you know. Okay. 
Yeah, because we get like 300 jobs to people to clean the subways and stuff and you know, get jobs to people who work in the library. Mm -hmm. We have like about 50 people, we have like 27 libraries and we have people are clean and stuff like that. Okay. And, uh, and up to today, you mm -hmm. know, we have to transport them where I hire ones and ones to drive for me and things. So, you know, we always give back to the community. And I uh, guess you learned something like that from Ziggy. Might yeah, have man. put that in your mind yes, from then and uh, you just... Yeah, Push man. it forward. Yeah, man. And then, mm -hmm. as I said, Peter always give to us. Peter always give to us, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, at no given time, you can do a, an interview and forget people like, like these people, you know. Mm -hmm. Michael Palmer, Tristan Palmer, you know, Peter Mitchell, Al Campbell. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. General Cheese are my bonafide, you know. Okay, trees too. Yeah, man, Cheese are my bonafide. You ever man. DJ on Black Scorpio? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. But they all are, um, over there. Um, think I, um, think I sent down to me. Yeah. Me and trees. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Papa asked Mike Antoine, man. Nice, you know. Crazy. Mike and trees, bad like yards. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Big up him teacher, yeah. you know. You know this. Yeah. I remember a night too. I remember seeing you on a song named Kangal. Kanga, One night too, yeah. Yeah, yeah Kanga. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. This kind of friend, I'm going be in all them places, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, man. When I go to Kanga, man, it, it, it's, a, it's a joy, you know. Mm -hmm. People, them treat me with love, with respect, you know. And, uh, and it's like a home from a home, you know. Mm -hmm. you, you feel comfortable. It, it, it's like the, the audience mm -hmm. upset you, mm -hmm. you know. And that's when we meet Richie Stevenson. Let me go my beer. For on Kanga. Yeah. Yeah. That's when we meet Richie. Yeah. And, and this was before he got the break or yeah, after? Yeah, before he got the break. Yeah. Yeah, my name is Richie, man. I don't even think Richie could have him back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, that's how I get the break, man. Mm -hmm. Maybe, you know. And what what, what kind of setting was it where you where you met him? Was it on a sound or how? Yeah, a sound there. Yeah. So now you have a song down the name, um, what's his name? I think I Tika Music. Yes, Tika, yes. Yeah, Tika Music, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, man, so, you know, we get to interact with them, man, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Crazy. Great. Yeah, yeah, man, great vibes, man. Yeah. Great vibes. Yeah, I regret nothing. Mm -hmm. And I see him because the music, I'm saying, right now, my mother ill. Mm -hmm. Mother of Alzheimer's and dementia, and mm -hmm. they are taking care of the same way, you know, seeing, and, eh, not even Grammy. I mm -hmm. get bigger than Grammy for the music. I see, the Grammy come like the high standard, yeah. but I told them, I drive, I said to myself, so I'm going to put up a thing, say, mm -hmm. what is your citizenship and your Grammy? Which one you think? <laughs> <laughs> Which one would you choose? <laughs> I'm a yeah. citizen of Canada. Mm -hmm. You see, I say, and for me, become a citizen of Canada mm -hmm. through my music. And that's me you can send for all of my youth them. Mm -hmm. And end up seeing my old lady where love us so much. And I can go take her out of poverty and put her under my arm and comfort her. Mm -hmm. No Grammy can compare to that. I Not understand. at all. That's my citizenship. Mm -hmm. Me you can go right around the world. You can fly upon Grammy. Mm -hmm. I respect Grammy I and mean, I love for you get a Grammy. Mm -hmm. But in my reality of life, when me achieve mm -hmm. my status, flying power, because the other day I say, the man them clap down for the artist, the man I say, you can't say certain things or you can't do certain things. And mm -hmm. I'll have money and, and big time and Grammy a ball. <laughs> 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 yeah, see? I mean, you can't yeah. come out and say anything to me what I say because. Mm -hmm. They can't stop even flying. You know, see? So, yeah, man, we do, do appreciate life, you know. Mm -hmm. Crazy right there. Yeah. What was, why did you decide to come to Canada opposed to going to the States or wherever? And what year did you did you end up coming to Canada? My first time travel was 1988. Mm -hmm. I came to Canada the 9th of September. Gilbert come to Jamaica the 12th. Mm -hmm. So, that was an escape for me. Mm -hmm. So I look at that as a blessing. I said, the Almighty have greater deeds for me, and you know why he let me come decide. Mm -hmm. So when I come decide, 
and I started to think about life. I said, Gilbert, come to Jamaica, and at least I'm a, a bird can send back a little thing to mm -hmm. help out be a madam, you mm -hmm. them, and friends and brothers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I said, can't be ungrateful to Canada. Uh, Canada, the place where make me can send back a dollar. Mm -hmm. And I said, yeah. So, America, and all over America, I live in LA too. Well, you lived out there for a yeah, bit. Man, I live in LA, man. I yeah. see all of the stars. I live right across from um, Universal Studio. So, okay. you know, so I see yeah. all of the stars. You see what I say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and even those places make me realize, say, yo, nothing really frightened me. I'm one of the artists where we could not have thousands of pictures with all top man. It's kind of good, you know, scene, mm -hmm. but it, to me, it's like nothing to me, you know. It's yeah. like. <laughs> It's just a regular thing that to me. In a kind of face, me now here. Me just don't say there's another man that, you know? Mm -hmm. Give me respect and, yeah, I'm glad we know you, but there's another man that. Mm -hmm. You know, see, and still percent of what I'm going there for the first time, the first time to open. Yeah. Yeah, and I did them bridge and camera go. First night, Kobe, the mother playing there. I did it. And I did it. And I did it. We opened the ice in the ice stage. I did it all, maybe six row, uh, mm -hmm. six or seven row. I did that's why the first time you're going to know, say, no, after the intermission, you see mm -hmm. a wallet exhibition. Yeah. Yeah. Me <laughs> <laughs> it's not really, we love basketball, but it's not really a fan fan. You yeah. know, see, we don't know the game just like that, but mm -hmm. we just go, you know. And all of these take place because of the music. Mm -hmm. Because if me wasn't a little rude person in a sense, me would have a song right now with Ice Cube, you know. Me would have a song with Ice Cube. What? <laughs> Tell me how that situation came up because well, we're not talking about joke keepers. We're talking uh, about ice cube. Yeah, man. Tell so me about that, man. please. Well, one time I live at uh, LA, mm -hmm. uh, I live at La Brea. Mm -hmm. So, we have this bridge, you know, where the same bridge in the go the stadium. In my high school, they must friend. Mm -hmm. You know, seeing. So, we we'll go there and them get to meet me and realize who me is and cars. I perform a lot of show at LA's. In LA? Yeah, and mm -hmm. I perform with um, Andrew Touch. Okay. Know, Andrew Touch. Yeah. Very powerful in LA. Mm -hmm. Very powerful youth in LA. So, you know, I school with their party, we spot with their mm -hmm. performance. I like the performance. So, Bridging introduced us and Bridging are trying to make the connection. Because, you know, I ice cube that top dog and. Yeah. Not no fears them man. So I said, all right. Yeah man. Come here try to push it, we get the in the, if we make it by one for our international artists we do a song with you know. Mm -hmm. And then it's like him I said, okay, next week Sunday, our pool party. Yeah. So they invite me. So well I've got the pool party, but the pool you now full of wall of woman and thing, you know. And I said, yo, yeah, the cast of them call me. Yeah, the <laughs> come here. <laughs> so they said, no, you know, so I'm not going to pool. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I said, too much money in that pool, them catch is better. The car got deep my face to the water. <laughs> I just see that. You know what I'm So it's like they were offended. You know what I'm saying? You know, I said, two them in them, them place and them yeah. are tuggy tuggy at the same time, yeah. you know. Start to talk, so we just humble still, never scared, but we just humble, you know. Mm -hmm. And like them feel like me, they disappear and by saying that, and they just cut me off, you know? cut me full. <laughs> so we never get the chance, you know. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that because up to today, day, me not really do that, so mm -hmm. I see them vibes, you know? yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's not those certain things. Yeah. You, you stick to what works for you. You yeah, stick man. to your yeah. principles, you understand? Yeah, man, and whatsoever makes me comfortable in life, and that's where I work with, because, mm -hmm. you know, uh, me as a man, no, if certain if we do certain things, I uh, know, say, I mean, that, it's it like a ride, me, you know? Yeah. And me don't really want to deal with stress. Me don't know, mama, stress already, we don't want no more stress. Yeah. <laughs> no unnecessary stress. <laughs> no Crazy. Unnecessary stress in LA, did your thing. So when you came to Canada, how easy or how hard was it to reestablish yourself as an artist? Well, everyone, the thing is like, everyone, they already know me. Mm -hmm. But me, me cut off for a while. Mm -hmm. And me not doing the music. So, 2010, 
two, actually 2009, but 2010, I'm going to start back. Devon Harry. Okay. I said to myself, Japs, Japs, now you're too bad. You need to start the back some music and mm-hmm. things. And then we meet, um, we meet Delroy. Um, he used to work at CHR. Sterling? Delroy Sterling. Yeah. So when I meet Sterling now, Sterling now know me from y'all. Mm-hmm. Okay. So he start to question me now and he realize, yes, the same Japanese is. Mm-hmm. So he get so excited now and go dig up back with his up, man. And start to call me name for the radio and you know, start to talk. I'm say, you know, I just jump back into the thing. Mm-hmm. So I'm jump back into the thing now and do a song with me and steal. Mm-hmm. You know, and what's going on against the violence we are going on in the community. Mm-hmm. And that song they just take off. Start to play a lot and you know, I start to sell it. And I find myself say uh, I sell all one song. One song. Car. Enough people not going to believe this. Mm. But people will they don't tell you. I sell one song for a hundred dollars. One C D, one song for it. What? Yeah, one yeah. song, you know see. And <clears throat> yeah. Mm-hmm. Song just start play. So I just start doing my thing and then now I find myself now take on to the youths them. The younger youths them now, I may try to curve them so I come with the non violence organization. Mm-hmm. And from this one I start to do my thing now. I get in drawing to borderline. So I have a club now, I'm a lady named Angie. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So open up by the line now and mm-hmm. we start to have a restaurant and a bar. So mm-hmm. we start to deliver food to the coffee trucks them. And I have a bar now and a place. By the line, I keep party on the weekends and I also rent it out to and stuff like that, you know. So mm-hmm. that did not go on well. It's not go on good. So from there you now, I have look like follow out, you know, me and the lady and thing and too many pressure and certain principles me live by and you know them could up uh 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 with it. When people come there it's not me, people just come there and say with the boss there. Yeah. You know, see people ask me she has her boss too and you know, offend me. Cause to our business. Dollar make I get fifty cents, make <laughs> fifty cents, you know see so so it kinda of bring a look out a look of vibes and thing and couldn't take it no more. Mm-hmm. So I just go up on the radio one day and I just announce and say, Yo, you know what I'm A king club to one ball line, you know, Stitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, see, I just yeah. come and I say, Stitch. See, I play there and I left a hundred dollar and I tilt. Mm-hmm. And say, Yo, turn a hundred and a million. Yeah. You know, I have a little box over there and look up his arms and something. Man. You don't know much, nothing great, you know, see. Mm-hmm. And I just left it and give Stitch them a car. Stitch them is a man, I always did every day. Mm-hmm. And make sure play a clip to so on and make sure so you know. So from this one I just rise out and just decide to boy, you know, make an advance and I just start do the back to school thing. Till me and Nitro do a back to school up at Taj Bank at all, you know, get mm-hmm. over two thousand people come and you know, we just from there we just go on and I do my thing, you know, mm-hmm. me start to do um we do a whole balloco comedy and <laughs> they come in and they shot, you know. One that I remember particularly in my mind was one called Fish, Fish is a Fish. fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. So. How did you even come up with that? Because at first I said, okay, as everybody's listening, it seemed like, okay, this is something serious. But then when you popped out the first tin, buddy, sorry. from there, that's <laughs> no. where we started to die. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Well, it's the Fish is a Fish mm-hmm. come from Mama, Shirley. Mm-hmm. Because real and truly, I have two pan of fish. Mm-hmm. You know, two pan of snap, I'm around 40 to 50 fish. And that's me and my mother and my daughter, they the house. Mm-hmm. So, as mama sickly now, I said, but mama can't eat the fish. Because huh? mm-hmm. after I'm done look at my fish, I realize I no fish to the left, mama. Mm-hmm. So, I cut up a bone and thing, and I go, so I move towards the cupboard and open it and look at me, see the salad in them. And I say, yo, fish are fish, you know, mama. <laughs> yeah, see, yeah. So I just cut up the side in and mm-hmm. thing with the onion and everything and just make our sandwich. And I said, Mama, fish a fish, eat your fish, what are you fish? <laughs> so I just said, You know, say this. So I just draw my phone right away and mm-hmm. just do it. But we make it look like it's a girl, me and half or something, and then I want it. But that's where your entertainer mind? 
comes yeah. into play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So at the same because we as artists you know, we always a must you know. Mm -hmm. Nobody must like us. Mm -hmm. Nobody must like us. So mm -hmm. at the at the, the most thing chip in. So we mm -hmm. just do it away there. And when we do it away there, it does in not even half an hour. I see the video come back to me from different different places. Yeah. I guess people are calling from all over yeah. the world. <laughs> it does see me my bridge and wake me up one o'clock in the night. Mm -hmm. I said, Jobs, come here. No, no, no. I mean, I said, what? Mm -hmm. I said, come here, man. You have to come check me. No, I said, what? Come here, check me out something. Mm -hmm. I said, come check me, man. I mean, I said, all right. Mm -hmm. So I jump out. No one thing. I mean, I tell you, man, I said, I soon come. I check that bridge in the car. I see that or something around, you know, see. Mm -hmm. So when I reach, man, hold him phone and go, so and take a picture. <laughs> <with me> and, <laughs> and I said, I got a job, man. I said, I said, yo. See me bridge, me tell you, see me bridge, me know yeah. the man. Cause the man I cuss the man I say, yo, yeah. as soon as that man get big, you know, you know, so I know him. Everybody knows him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then my nephew, mm -hmm. the Obamas, I say I talk to him bridge in Germany, and I see him thing. Man say, you know, I must say, yo, my uncle. Yeah. You know, see, you know, me have to send him a voice note. You have a bridge in any rice, though. Mm -hmm. The girl at Jamaica, I say, boy, no, sir. You don't know that the man, and very, very, and... Guys, check me out. I'm going to boom up with my DJ song. I send it to her. You know, see? It. So it, it just it just take off because it's just keeping yourself relevant mm -hmm. in the eyes of the people. You know, see? It. So it's not one thing you do. So right now, I capture the minds of the younger youth them mm -hmm. with the comedy. So when I put a song behind it now, and I said, oh, yeah, I am to do that. But it makes it makes total sense. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I captured them by having them laughing. Because mm -hmm. I was at this place, and a youth time came with more than one, 20, at, um, maybe 25 or so, and come in, and mm -hmm. my new girlfriend, and she had them. And I said, yo, you don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see this? Ah, him. Because one time my sister messed up my money, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I blast up on Facebook. You know, see him. So I said, you don't know him. I didn't have full white, you know. Yeah. You know, see, the other night I go to Esco party. Yes. And when I reach out at the gate, the security there, I just stand up in the car. I mean, I know, I know, I know, I got people that ask me to tell them, you know. Mm -hmm. So when I security girl, I say, I know, you know, you're a summer artist, you know, and I say, I don't know. And then she said, oh, mm -hmm. fish is a fish. <laughs> 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 so, you know, so it's just keeping yourself relevant in a different way because nothing in life lasts mm -hmm. forever more than a good salvation. You understand. Yeah. So you have to know how to keep yourself relevant amongst mm -hmm. the generation because the thing is that well, a lot of artists don't realize that it's not like you as an artist die. Mm -hmm. It's not like you as an artist stop singing. Mm -hmm. It's not like you as an artist, especially me, stuck into the, the past. We're not stuck in the past. We flow still go, and we have new flows and different things. Mm -hmm. But your fans, your fans grow old. Some people go to church, some people drop out, some people in the dance hall business again. So mm -hmm. As your fans who really leave you, it's not really you who leave the fans because you still have the music. That's a good one. Uh, uh, and this is maybe the first time it explained like that. Mm -hmm. I seen about two people, I've been saying my brain always that yeah. thing. You know what I'm saying? But, so what you have to do now, you have to create new fans mm -hmm. as an artist where in the business from back then. And you have to keep yourself fresh. Mm -hmm. You have to make, when I would see him, say that big man there. Big man, I look fresh, you know. <laughs> you understand me? And anything where you wear them, that way too. Mm -hmm. But you know, drop your pants way down below your waist, you know. But you keep yourself up. Mm -hmm. So you have that respect. So mm -hmm. you just keep yourself up and you know, can't drop a game, you know. You have to understand how it goes out there. Crazy. And as you said, keeping up. There was a name that you had brought up from in the 80s. And I know you've done a song with him now, which is Yami Bolo. Yeah. All right. How did that come? How did you guys collaborate together with that song here now? Well, as you know, Chumi and Yami Bolo mm -hmm. is from back. You understand me? So you find, you know, when him come here, you know, mm -hmm. some little thing did that happen where, you know, some man like deal with artists. Mm -hmm. Like them not no respect. So him link me and know, say, well, then, our thing not stay like that. You see me? I say. Mm -hmm. So when him link me, you know, me and him start link up back. Yeah, cause I mean, yummy ball and tennis are you see the right on my yard gate. 
Okay, you know what? You're the best person to access that. That style that Nitty Gritty and Tenasa, they both similarly have. Oh. Who was the first one to really come up with that style? That's Nitty Gritty. It was Nitty Gritty? Yeah, man, that's Nitty Gritty, man. Have anybody ever seen for me trial and crosses? All right, now we don't need no glasses. Yeah. You know what i So, him take on to Tenasa. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what i him and sugar miner is more closer. Nitty gritty and sugar yeah. miner. Okay. Yeah. So, you man promotion now. <clears throat> I'm bringing, I'm bringing Tenasa. Mm-hmm. Tenasa start sing and get the highlight. So, in time, I'm coming on in time. Right on my gate in there. Right on my gate, Pain Avenue. Right That's right wild. Tree, so. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. Mm. That's uh, well. Yeah, man. I'm a kid, I never forgot because, as I said, moving from, from even way down there, so now coming back up, so now, mm-hmm. as the music just reflect back to me now. I still leave out my bridging where yeah. Tony and Tony were with mm-hmm. <laughs> the, 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 the next good, non-violence. Yeah, the next mm-hmm. non-violence song. Mm-hmm. You know, seeing where, you know, yeah, that song there. A song there, one minute it just rise up mm-hmm. and then. You know, you don't know, mold it again and then it just rises up again because when I tell a Barry G me I play the song of Jamaica. Barry G? Yeah. yeah. And I call call out it was Radigan birthday. And I'm called Radigan and say, I can't play that one. And I listen for the yeah. rhythm. I say, What? <laughs> yeah. And then I'll peat on the matter and say, Yo, just play I hear the song. Mm-hmm. You know, seeing the song start play, IFM start play the song and you know, just a go on and I mean, I say, Okay. You know, you have to just continue. So one minute you capture and next minute you just simmer. But I you that? People mm-hmm. are going to know, say, are you that? Mm-hmm. But as I say, I keep the comedy, keep relevant. And when I want to hear the song, because I still, the same fish go back to all the fish is a fish. Mm-hmm. I still have the song for it. You know, see, I still do the song for it. Tell them me now, hang on me at the way me can't reach it. If you can't buy a perch, me say I will snap a fish. But when you see the sardine, just respect it. A fish is a fish. That's why me love all a woman we humble. She now go see me sardine and gumbo. She a gumble and put it on the table. Hey, I don't know where I go, man. <laughs> That's fish why. Fish is a fish. Fish is a fish. You yeah. see? Crazy. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. So, my latest now. Congratulations. Congratulations on the latest. You know, that's the song where I would like everybody to go out and mm-hmm. purchase. And that's my song that Ruffy Satman is already a household. Nothing can move that. Mm-mm. But I would like congratulations to be a real household song mm-hmm. for whether young or old because we have to congratulate where we as black people coming from mm-hmm. to where we are right now. No, we not gone through the gate, but you still can't shoot back in the yard. Exactly. You understand me? <laughs> yeah, we, you know, see, mm-hmm. so if you read the things tonight, this is what I say. So, mm-hmm. the thing is that this song, you know, is a song that is for all of us. Mm-hmm. Every, each, and individual person. You know, it, it's not for only black, it's for everybody who. Face a tribulation in your history, mm-hmm. but I do it specially for my set of people. Then you know, see, mm-hmm. that's why I did this song. Congratulations to all the black men and black women. Congratulations, and I'm talking to each and every one. Look where we there now. Oh gosh, look where we there now. Oh gosh, look where we there now. Oh gosh, look where we there now. Hey, them can't see me from bus and say get up. Can't hear we talk and say shut up. Malcolm and Sir Martin Luther King big up. I say black people say them a rise up. I say phone, a few invention, cap. A few invention, television. A few invention, fridge. A few congratulations to all the black men and black women. 
congratulations. And I'm talking to each and every one. Look where we there now. Far away I come from, brother. Put the ice and pan the cake just for me. Make we live in a peace and unity. We now for some fight with nobody. Me want the whole wild world to see. I say your love is my love. And my love is your love. Have I only that tell everybody? Hey, say come on, take and try and beat me. Congratulations. Yeah, man. Just like that. Yeah, you know. You know what I mean? And when we keep it, we keep it now. We that's the reason why I de- like do it live. Because mm-hmm. like when people hear my song mm-hmm. and people hear my live, I see them things. Mm-hmm. So the melody of the day. Yeah. So you know, say, we are natural. It's an inborn thing, you know. But you're coming from sound system days. So remember, this wasn't punch and stop. This was go. You that's had to true. go and this was practice. Yes. You're practicing live in front of people Night in and night yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. You see, all right. The music now, mm-hmm. it's easier because you can go in at the studio and you can make a thousand mistakes. Mm-hmm. And then just fix up that and set up that for you. Mm-hmm. You do a dub plate, you do a thousand mistakes and fix up that and set up that for you. Mm-hmm. When me I do it, son I do it, or stitch I do it, yeah. you better go straight. <laughs> what? I can't do it, you better go straight. Because remember now, if you spoil, you spoil the, 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 the dub plate right away. Mm-hmm. So either you buy a command dub or you take less money. Mm-hmm. You can't mess up. And you don't <laughs> want to do, you don't want to pay for it and you don't want to take less no. money. No. Crazy. So you, have, you, have, you have to think ahead. So by we having that installed in of us thinking ahead, especially me, that's yeah. how me always I think we are ahead of life. I don't say, yeah. What next? What next is coming? You understand? You know, see? Crazy. Yeah. Last question I have for you before I get you out of here. You've had this career from in the 80s right up until now, 2021. All right. When has been the highest point in your career and when has been the lowest point in your career thus far? The highest point of my career, the highest point of my career is when I come here and get my land in. Mm-hmm. That's my highest point to me because me no no say oh we can't go any anyway. So the peak of farm now, you know, we start to think. Me I say yo, but as me said before, me I say but not no nice like this. Mm-hmm. You know, the music bring me come forget this, but this no can make me go right around mm-hmm. the world. So the glorious part. Is that and mm-hmm. the next glorious part of that is when Peter called me for Sun Splash. Sun Splash. Because I know I say, yo, me, I make use of that time, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So that was my. Peter mm-hmm. was my highest peak. So mm-hmm. yes, 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 because that now is going to make me mm-hmm. come get the, the landing. For sure. I come get the citizenship. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> now my lowest point, you know. Mm-hmm. My lowest point right now. I have more than one low point, but very low. Because starting in life, I used to sleep in cars, and I used to sleep in shop. My mother have nothing. And I can remember one time, my mom sent some turn come in and pork skin come give me at school. And they never have nothing for it, but I have to turn it back. Because, you know, them times, they as youth. If you pull that nice school and next bit in them say, <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's a papa, your brother. <laughs> Probably for a lifetime. A simple thing like that, you know. Simple mm-hmm. thing like that, you know. You know? Yes, but but mm-hmm. my lowest point is no. Mm-hmm. It would be so funny. Why you say that? Because my mom. Because mm-hmm. I watch my mom joy for the life and to see that she come to a stage where I see her eating her feces and I mm-hmm. have to rush to her, you know. Mm-hmm. So now I can't find my food. Now I drive a car. Now I have a business. But still it is my lowest point. 
I understand what you mean by that because a lot of time people see all of the cars and all of this stuff here, the business, but they don't really understand what's going on behind all of this here. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? As I speak, I work towards the guy, my wife's trembling. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I get it. You know what I mean? I totally understand it. You know what I mean? It's not how it's really. Mm-hmm. I, boss, I, I get it. I totally get it. You know what I mean? It's just one of those things where, again, you're on a big stage. You see all the great stuff, but life is life. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <coughs> to all my kids, them, you know. Guys, mm-hmm. fifteen years we get them. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but you can find me on. Fire and Easy Addy. Mm-hmm. Facebook, Fire and Easy Addy. Instagram, Fire and Easy Addy. We just keep it like that, you know? Mm-hmm. Japs, yeah. thank you so much. And I'll tell you something, Big Boss. I overstand 100% what you're going through in your life right now because with my grandmother, we went through the same thing. Mm-hmm. So I totally 100%. One day, everything is good until you see them. It's like... This isn't the same person that I know, but you're still seeing them in front of you. But you can't get to them no more because they're they're there, you know, but they're not there. So I understand, Big Boss. You know what I mean? Well, you know, mm-hmm. but uh, just life, we have mm-hmm. just this strong. Yeah. You know, seeing what we are human beings and it has got it from more time. Then you know, mom, and, you this know. is mom we're talking about, you know. Yeah. This isn't the next door yeah. neighbor or the person downstairs, you know. As you said, this is the person that grew you, put the values in you, instill certain things yeah, on you. Yeah, she was the strongest person you knew at mm-hmm. one point. Yes, man. You understand? Yeah, yeah. So then to see you here, it's like, oh, fuck, man. Yeah, man. But before me leave, too, you know, I want to big up man like Serbi, you know. Mm-hmm. I want to big up like um, Levi, you know, the Brent and Levi family. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know, you know Ishii, mm-hmm. you know. Look at John, you know, when I say respect again to Peter Mitchell, Shadowman, and, you know, nigga Mike is seeing me, you know. And um, I see a little thing go on mm-hmm. through a same interview like this, you mm-hmm. know, and the two persons, they know themselves, and I want them to understand, say, yo, how we see one, you know. They never rub down nobody, or throw down nobody, or dash on nobody, or put on nobody, so. Mm-hmm. Everybody have to understand each other feelings, you know. For so sure. You have to be careful what you say, you know, because the truth can be hurt, and sometimes you can't hurt people who they the feel. Mm-hmm. You know, see? So sometimes you have to just, as I say, I just love me spread, you know. And mm-hmm. them know. Yeah. Them know, because <clears throat> me amongst the DJ, them, he was one of the rough DJ, them. Up to the day, but we know we know we not be like that. We be of this then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your your style was aggressive at that time, there. You yes. know, what I mean, when you're giving them hat man, you're feeling that either if you're seeing it, yeah, you're feeling it right there, or if you're watching on a VHS, you're mm-hmm. feeling that right through the TV. Yeah, man. You know yeah, what I mean? Man. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, Japs. This was my most in-depth and realist interview I've done in a real long time. You understand? We give thanks, man. You know, we keep it real, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. We keep it real. We don't forget the past, you know? Family. And some people will mention, mm-hmm. enough people now going to remember them people there. Because yeah. we say Leap and Cliff, we say Low Lepke, you know? When you say Shadow Man, man. say Shadow Man, you know? Man. Mm-hmm. You say Baby Bop, you know? Screw the Bop, you know? Sanchez, mm-hmm. you know? Sancho, you know? Pinch has big up yourself. Cause that's From Kango days? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. We next bridge in that scene, you know? See? Mm-hmm. You know, squid the ranking and, you know. And to all the new artists, them, mm-hmm. who, you know, who making the money mm-hmm. and who living a nice lifestyle, I'm telling you for right now, nothing lasts forever. So please remember your fans die, not you. So please put your fame and your money into a business where you can survive and still stay strong later on, you know. Mm-hmm. So 
Il est dans mes Mr. Did. Live large, and live big, and later on, you're going to the fridge. Yeah. So, hmm. man, I respect again, muscle. You understand? Let me give you an outro and get you on your This conversation, excellent conversation, boss. Yeah. You understand? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Muscle, and this has been another Two Line Music Huts Entertainment Report podcast, and we are out. Blessings. Wow. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusichunt.com.